I am hopeful because I believe in Minnesota. I believe in Minnesotans. When Governor Mark Dayton delivers his State of the State Address on Wednesday night, it will be his third since taking office. It will be the first time House Majority Leader Erin Murphy will hear it from her new position of power. Representative Murphy. Mr. Speaker and members, I move. Being the Majority Leader is a real great honor for me. It's a great um, opportunity, I think, to participate in our process. But I will sit there first as a citizen, as a representative of the people of 64A, and take in what the governor has to say uh, with real, uh, a real sense of seriousness and humility, knowing that we have a really big job in front of us. House Minority Leader Kurt Doubt has heard all of Governor Dayton's addresses from the House floor, but like Murphy, the second-term representative and newly elected leader of the House Republicans, has never had so much political responsibility. You know, obviously the, the DFL controls state government right now, and we haven't seen that for 22 years. Uh, many times I've heard people say that Minnesota has a rich tradition of divided government, and, you know, right now we don't have that. Many of the issues in the governor's budget proposal are expected to be covered in his state of the state address. Property taxes, sales taxes, paying back the school shift. Come Wednesday, the governor's job will be to sell the people of Minnesota those ideas. I think a lot of people, um, especially uh, you know, Minnesotans that are worried about tax increases and, and job creators that are worried about expanding their business and whether they're going to be able to do that, are really anxious about what, what is going to come out of this, this next state budget. And, and we want to make sure that this state budget reflects our priorities, which are growing Minnesota's economy and creating jobs and, and, and making Minnesota a, 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 more, a, a better place for middle class families to, to thrive and, and, and to raise their families. I want to hear um, the governor's vision for the state of Minnesota, and I want Minnesotans to hear that as well. And I have seen the governor um, speak in so many settings, but especially at the state of the state, I think he will make a compelling case for why uh, we should take the, the direction that he's promoting in his budget. These newly elected leaders have much invested in how well they work together and with the governor. I don't think anybody expects that everything that the governor's proposed and everything that we propose as a legislature is going to become law. Instead, I think Minnesotans want us to bring our best ideas forward, consider them, debate them, and then choose the best ones and put that budget in place. And the governor's doing that, and we're going to do that with him. We are ready to roll up our sleeves and work with the governor uh, to come up with solutions that we think are good for the state and good for, for Minnesotans. Just like many eyes will be on the governor's State of the State address, Minnesotans will continue to watch what unfolds this legislative session.